Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy here on the Game Professor channel. I am your host, the Game Professor. We just came back from speaking with Sebastian. And, um, after really, really atro atrocious choice of his when defending Feldcroft from some of uh, Ranrock's loyalists, but I have decided for what we do next, I am going to have us do... Oh, who's this? I... Oh, I... Oh, this is a fun one. Let me get if this quest at the very least. he thinks he's getting away with this, he has another thing coming. Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. We only had two bells to go. But she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow. Who spoiled things? Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts. Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway... Mm. It was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. Oh, um, what's so important about these bells? Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. Okay, I do appreciate that perspective. That does seem a little bit specific, getting a headache from them, but... It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black, taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does <laughs> in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour. But mum's the word. <laughs> I will say that that list of people that that information went through makes me think it's not so true. But either way... Whether it's interrupting his naps, he gets a headache, or it reminds him of his wedding day. Pretty weak reasoning on his part. If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. Okay. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. Alright, we're not going to switch to this one I just yet. I imagine the bells are just inside in the bell tower. But it's, it, it's, a, it's a fun one. It is actually a very fun one. And I've often finished it before it's even possible for me to do um but we are first going to speak with natty then we're going to do surprise meeting um i want to be able to get the next elements for the two of them ready to go much like how we have sebastian basically queued up to be ready to go once we get more main storyline happening um i don't want to leave any of these uh, relationship quests behind because they are important to the characterization of the player character in my opinion so that's part of why I've been really focusing on these for the time being even though I realize that we've kind of been sitting on some main story elements pretty heavily for a bit Let's see here. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I do still want to get all the Dedalian keys 
and stuff like that. I need to be better about doing more exploring around Hogwarts for that reason. It's part of why I'm actually exploring rather than fast traveling. Because we really, especially this area, we really haven't spent that much time around here. I had gotten this, right? Hmm, apparently I didn't. Okay. I thought I had. The lighting isn't great for me to do that right now, though. So, and even, yeah, even if I look at my computer, my TV screen, it's not that much better. But the fact that there's definitely a chest down there. It's like, okay. I definitely thought I would have collected that. How does Gareth Actually, that's not what I wanted. It was challenges that I wanted. Exploration. Hogwarts secrets. Okay, yeah, I am still two away, and we we will get one of these secrets by going to the headmaster's office. So. Huh. All right. There really is so much to keep track of in this game. It part of what makes it such a really good RPG in that manner. Um but Yeah, we definitely want to be sure that we have things established. Oh, I just remembered there's an area. Students always frown. Please burn the castle down. No. Please don't do that, peeps. Oh, I should take care of this too while I'm at it. That's an easy one to find. Oh, it's trying to tell me. Where is it? Where's my my moth? Is it not visible because of the there we are. Jeez. That was weird. But it's highlighting all of the trees and stuff because I have um, the modification spell on this wheel. Sweet. So, I'll check in with Natty. Ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and... <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. Yeah, I, I buy that. I fully buy that. <laughs> um... I am, I am a bit of a defiant teenager in this moment, though, so I will say she should be proud of you. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, <laughs> she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Also legit. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. <sighs> Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an animagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would oh. carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits 
who had come from our village. Mm. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting mm. me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. And this is where we're able to start seeing some of the parallels between Natty and Sebastian more distinctly. It's all about ties with a particular family member, a hang-up about that tie to the particular family member, Sebastian with his twin sister, not being able to help cure her, Natty with her father, him sacrificing himself for her um these parallels uh, are really really powerfully meaningful um especially since they are really the two main other student uh companions that you have there's poppy as well and they're <laughs> I'd have to do some thinking about Poppy to see if she's as comparable to Natty and Sebastian. Um, I think she's more tangential, but Natty and Sebastian really truly are two sides of the same coin in a lot of ways. And even just the ways that they're choosing to go about things is... Okay, brief accidental pause there. So... Yeah, you're looking to avenge his death? What the heck was that? Sorry, I just saw on the corner of my eye something in my face cam. I have no idea what that was. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He and my mother Raise me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know mm -hmm. there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so, too. And, yeah, you are clearly still highly impacted by this, but how is your mother doing? What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer. But I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. Mm. She misses him. As do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. And... I think I know the answer to this, but what do you think your father would think of what we've been doing? Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my... That is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. Yeah, I really am sorry. And I will say, interesting element there, and obviously... I don't know all of the African tribes as they are now versus how they would have been over a hundred years ago, but it it is interesting to consider we know that in the UK that witches and wizards, and presumably the rest of Europe, witches and wizards are considered adults at the age of 17. We, that, and that is fairly well established through the, the Harry Potter books themselves. 
We don't know that it's the same in the U.S. even, based on the Fantastic Beasts movies, because that's our only foray into American wizardness. But I would imagine that uh, just given the, the tribal nature of Africa, that there would be different senses of how what age somebody would be when they become adult an adult because that goes down to right uh, to um coming of age rituals which are common everywhere in the world not just in um in tribal societies or less developed societies we st we have plenty of coming of age rituals in modern day America as well. So it's interesting. I, I would be very curious about what that influence is. I, I, I highly doubt that that's something that the game devs would have really put much thought into in selecting where Natty comes from. So interesting. I have a cat messing with stuff. I apologize. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. Truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you all again right. for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. All right. So, with that, ooh, we haven't gone in here yet, so let's go in here. I haven't done one of these in a while. So, 7 plus Hydra. Hydra is 7. No, Hydra is 9. So, 8. Um. And then, 11 plus 0 plus 3. Where's the other one? There we are. I'm struggling with my lighting today, and I'm not sure why. My lighting within my own space, that is, to clarify. Got Hogwarts Crest, always good. Gray Quidditch gloves, excellent. Alright, so... Like I said... We are now going to check in with Poppy. But before we do that, I am actually going to do a little bit of adventuring in... No. Professor Black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you like tormenting Professor Black, but that I don't really want to deal with that right now. Um, but what we're going to do is check out... If I, where's this one? Uh, that must be the one that's above. I think we've done that one already. Um, but... Oh, Rebellion. House Elf Recipe Book. Rumored to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creations, the book holds a, cre a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes, like p di pickled dirigible plums, are likely an acquired taste. Yes. But, this way... Whoops, didn't do that. Oh, well, all right. We haven't been down here yet, so I guess it's all good. I thought, I thought there was a path to something else as well, and I was mistaken. Rebellion. I may have to fast travel to. Oh, yep. Yeah, I I forgot to read that, but basically. This is the Hufflepuff common room entrance. Um, and 
Am I actually able to go back and look at those field guide pages, I wonder? Nope. Yeah, collections. Conjurations? No, I don't think so. Shoot! Ah, uh, frustrating. Alright, but yeah, it. if you don't... Uh, it, to enter, you knock in the rhythm Helga Hufflepuff. Helga Hufflepuff. Or Helga Hufflepuff. But it's very precise. So even current actual Hufflepuff students could end up being sprayed with vinegar. <laughs> so I appreciate that. Um, I'm not going to go in to the kitchens just yet. We do have some good stuff to find in there. But I'm not going to do it just yet. Did I? That was weird. The way that looked there, it almost looked like a field guide page as it starts to appear slightly. But... Let me see here. I just have to do some remembering for a moment. Yes, I've gotten that Dedalian key. How many do I need at this point? Do I have any? I don't think I have any of those with me at the moment, no. Four. I need to find four more. Okay. Um. Oh, I didn't mean to select that. Whoops. Is that's weird? But it's still it's still directing me to Poppy right now as I'm doing that. That's odd. Nope. Oh my goodness. There we go. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. That was very odd. I had... I don't know why it would do that. Oh, wait. Is this the right way? Oh. Where's the gray lady? The gray lady crying. Eh. Not visible. All right. Incidental Hogwarts exploration commencing. I think this is potentially where I want to be going. Or maybe not. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. These are some good places to find. So yeah. Hello, Hamora. Not not what I was looking for specifically, but still really good things to find. I think most of these are these locks are just going to be for treasure. This is the alchemy classroom. Oh. Well, Let's get our dissolutionment on. Rebellion. Oh no, the detention chamber. Okay, this chamber allegedly served as the school's preferred location for punishing students. Though physical torture is no longer utilized during detention, the aura of such horrific practices lingers. Presumably, this would be where um, Filch would have been using his uh, chains to hang the students from. I will say, I don't think that there was ever a time in Filch's time that there would be uh, stringing students up by their ankles or their wrists or anything. Good for you. 
but I think more likely it's previous centuries. There are some elements of corporal punishment that were seen as permissible Alohomora. in the mid uh, 20th, mid to late 20th, more mid, early to mid 20th century. And I believe it's implied that Filch became caretaker probably probably after Harry's parents would have been. But, yeah, we don't know. But, here, we have the ghostly I party chamber. You should, you should ask her. Shan't hold my breath for that. No, I'm going to ask her this time. You said that 40 years ago. Oh boy. Did you see that? She looked at Ravelli. me. My dear Mount of there go. It's just so fun. The Headless Hunt Tapestry. The tapestry depicts the Headless Hunt. A group of headless hosts organized... Headless ghosts organized by Patrick Delaney Podmore uh, to play various headless games. They're notorious for refusing to admit Gryffindor ghosts Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington due to their, to their ranks as he is not entirely headless. Which is unfortunate. Rebellion. Let's see, there we have take a chest here. Oh. <laughs> Wiganwild potions, interesting. I would not have expected to find Wiganwild potions around here. Sheepskin top hat. Ah, here we are. And the Death Day Party Room. This gloomy, spacious chamber in the lower dungeon of Hogwarts is perfect for the occasional Death Day party celebrated here by the castle ghosts. Most mortals will want to avoid such festivities as the food served is frequently rotting so the ghosts can detect its aroma. It is... Rebellion. Just fun... Fun details. The inclusion, it's just so great. Because I never really could imagine where it was. The castle, as I imagined it when reading the books, was very simple in a lot of ways. All right. I'm going to do one more little bit of searching. If not, if I don't see it, did I get this yet? Rebellion. Yes, I did. I couldn't remember if I had got if I had snagged the uh, the Slytherin sink. Lumos. Um, that should be up here. Oh, that's a ghost. There's our moth. Inadvertently going to get more of the um, what's it's than I necessarily would have thought. Okay. I'm still missing a flu flame here. Interesting. That's obviously back at the Slytherin common room, so we won't do any more exploring just yet. No real need to. Can I fly from here? I can't. Rude, I want to be able to fly. Being able to fly would be so much more convenient. Oh. Did I just see that we have a potential interesting? All right, well, we can fly from here though. So let's just fly ourselves to the forest to meet with Poppy. Simplify our life a little bit in that regard. 
I specifically want to go to the um, to to an area near the map chamber because there's a whole slew of the uh, oh hello I don't need to deal with spiders right now thank you very much I should probably get up a little bit higher So I'm not completely hitting the trees constantly. Now I can start heading down. Beautiful. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Okay, Poppy, what's happening? Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Hmm. Probably not the best idea, but let's go with it. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. Um, they are known for being wise. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. Mm. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- Hmm. There's definitely something else going on here. At least from Poppy's perspective. Good call, Poppy. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Mm. Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. Hmm. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. Well, seems that Bane had a bit of a foolish precursor. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now. Follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? Uh -huh. In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? I mean, he's, uh, it seems like there's probably something within predictions that they've made. Um, 
it, uh, but hi again. You can see me again. I, uh, I had stopped recording because I thought I was going to get interrupted again. Um, and I forgot to start recording my face cam again when I started re-recording the game. So apologies for my vanishment throughout most of this. Um, yeah, it, I, I use a lot of moonstone. Isn't it common? Isn't moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. All right. I I definitely trust him. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. Excellent. I'll let you know what I find. That sounds good in that case. I am going to fly back to the castle to finish off the episode. And specifically what we're going to do... I'm going to see if I can actually get to the uh, secret area that I was looking for now. Because specifically, it will require me going to toward the map chamber. So what I'm hoping, essentially, is that I'll be able to direct myself to the map chamber and I'll get there and while we're on our way there essentially we will be able to get to what I'm looking for but just have to get back to the castle first and then, depending on how quickly I'm able to do this, we'll be able to um, basically just, uh, oh, well, we're going to, I can go to the map chamber and get things started before I go to the, um, the thing. That's not what I wanted to do. Shoot. <laughs> that was smooth. It's fine. That's not what I meant to do. I, m I hit the wrong button. I fat fingered. But this way, we'll just work our way back around. I may even be able to find the Dedalian key for this area as well, which I think is preferable. Let's see here, though, because if I remember correctly, we have not found the Dedalian Kiefer down here yet. Oh, we did. Okay. Never mind then. But we are going to do a quick little Alohomora. jump around for some treasure to finish off the episode. And then we'll be in a we'll be nice and close to the map chamber for getting started on the uh, the next keep a trial. So we're just gonna be jumping between toads. Nice and simple. Let me Get another field guide page. That is not something I can Rebellion. There we go. Make sure I don't miss anything. Because this does lead to a legendary chest, if I remember correctly. Wait. Is it... Okay, that's something in the distance I'm hearing then. Oh, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky.
I don't know who or what I was hearing. And there we are. There is our legendary chest. Awesome. So. Oh, gargoyle. Interesting. I don't think I've ever heard that gargoyle. But just work our way back. And... We'll be all set. There we are, back at the beginning. So, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you always know when I have new videos coming out. And follow the links to the Facebook page and Discord server so you can join the conversation. But until next time, everybody, this is your Game Professor signing off. I will see you then. And we will be back at the map chamber for that. See you then.